I honestly really have respect for people that vlog all the time because it's a lot of work. I got home from work at about six today and then I had a flag football game or two flag football games actually from 6.30 until 8.30. Miles FaceTimed me when I got home and I was freaking out, let me tell you guys, because he was like, one of the first things he said was, I told all my coworkers that you are surprising me with a puppy for Christmas. And I was like, what? I was just trying to play it cool and I was like, like I, to, I had to just be really quick on my feet, you know? And I was like, I was like, haha, super funny babe. And I was like, you're setting me up to fail. Like we already said we're not gonna get one until spring. So that's how I'm kind of getting away with this. It's like, he thinks that we're getting one in the spring or summer of next year. And so we had already said like, we're not gonna be able to get one by Christmas. But I feel like he was watching me for my reaction. And so I just like am not sure. I'm like, does he know? Or is he like just checking to see because like I'm starting to show signs of like suspicion? Because I feel like I've been pretty like careful. So I had my friend Ashley order all of my Amazon list. Like I put all the purchases for the dog on a separate credit card under my maiden name that I still have that I need to change over, which thankfully I didn't because I'm able to do all this stuff. So does he know? So then I called my friend Kathleen right away and I was like processing it through with her. And then she was like, shouldn't you know he's your husband? And I was like, yeah, but like we, like there's still new things about marriage like we're three years in and we've never like surprised each other in such a big way like i threw him a surprise party one year but like some people ended up spilling it and so you know but it was still fine it was still super fun and he didn't know everybody that was going to come and so he was still surprised in that way he knew he, we were going to have a birthday party, but he didn't know it was going to be like as big as it was. So it ended up still being a super fun surprise, but I wanted this to be like a surprise surprise because we had already tabled it. We had already said we're not going to get one until next year. And so I just really hope he doesn't already suspect something because to tomorrow is going to be Wednesday, Thursday, or today's Wednesday. Sorry, I'm getting my days confused. Today's Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday. It's one week till showtime. Like next Thursday, I'm going to be picking up the dog. I'm going to be doing the huge surprise. Like it's going to be an epic, epic day. And so I'm so excited. I just am like, I'm one week out. Like the surprise can't be ruined yet. Not yet, you know? Ah. Okay, so here's the kicker though, is he was like, what if it's not you that's surprising me for Christmas, but like, what if I'm the one surprising you? And I was like, are you saying you're gonna surprise me with a puppy this Christmas? And then he was like, he got all like, you know, whatever, and was like, I'm just kidding. Like, like he tried to play it off. But I think he wanted to see how I was going to respond, which can obviously mean two things, right? One, he's on to me and he wants to see what I will say to him surprising me with one if he thinks that I'm already surprising him. The second one is he's actually surprising me with a dog and we're going to end up with two puppies. Like, I don't, I have no words if that happens. Like, I will utterly be speechless if we show up both with puppies in hand and we surprise each other. Like, does this happen to people? Like, I, I think I need to go watch other YouTube videos and see if this has happened before because I'm sure it has. Like, if your couple wavelength, your tele, you know, your 
telekinesis well why is it's the end of the day guys i am blanking here but your telepathy is just so strong that you are on the same page and you're like surprise for christmas surprise for christmas so who knows maybe we will not just be getting one but two puppies this christmas wild so yep that's that's that and so this is a brow serum by the way i'm not putting on makeup for bed um i was just like on the real though like i'm so glad we didn't get a christmas puppy like i'm still transitioning to working from home and i was like it's not fair like you're gonna be home with a puppy more it's gonna bond with you like it's so good that we're gonna wait till spring and i was like really hoping he would bite on that and he was like sure babe sure um so we'll see what happens i kept pressing him for it though but then i was like are you actually are you actually and then he was just laughing and like because we were over face him the entire time so I just dropped it because I was like, I can't, I can't let too much away. Now at one point, like I was eating crackers while I was talking to him because I was like, I have to focus on something else or else I'm going to crack because I start laughing whenever I'm like, I'm nervous or even sometimes when I'm mad, like I just start laughing, like I can't help it. And so I started get, like cracking up a little bit, like not giggling, but just like, like this smile came over my face and I was just like cracking up and he was like, why are you laughing and i was like oh like i'm eating crackers i'm cracking up like i just like made a joke out of it it was dumb like he probably knows like he's my husband he can probably um i just really hope he's surprised i feel like this has just been a whole thing so this morning i had texted my friend ashley because she's also in new york and she ordered everything for me so that it's going to come in time because miles doesn't get home until friday night so it's all going to come in time. I will hopefully unpack everything and unbox everything and just hide it and store it in my closet because he doesn't really go in there. So he wouldn't think that anything is amiss. So that's just kind of my little short update for today. My friend Kathleen ended up sleeping over last night and I think that she's just not ready to have a puppy yet, which is totally fine. Like, I I totally get it. It's a huge commitment. So I don't think she's going to get the sister after all. But my friend Isa, who I had gone to dinner with before Kathleen came over, she was looking at like the future litters and she was like, actually, I have been thinking about getting a mini Bernadoodle. So if we could get one like from the same dad or something, they would still be like half siblings. That would be kind of cute. So she lives in the same like neighborhood complex as me and so it would be so cute like they wouldn't be that far apart in age and we can go on like little walks and it would just be so cute. So I think that's my biggest update of today. I think every day I'm like what am I going to talk about but new things keep coming up and I just feel like it's so fun or it will be super fun to watch back and like watch me have almost like a panic attack from miles saying that i was like you should have seen my jaw drop inside my head when he was like yeah i told my coworkers, like you know you're surprising me with a puppy for christmas like no words i was just like be cool be chill be chill Teresa. like roll it up roll roll with it you know so that's the tea for today. I think today will be kind of a shorter one. Um, tomorrow, I think I will maybe share everything that I got. I did so much research. My friends that have had puppies, that have had poodle mixes, all gave me such great advice. I also got Rex from the breeder. And so I'll do maybe a little like new puppy, you know, owner guide, even though I'm super new at this and learning still but if somebody else is in the same boat if you're also thinking of getting a puppy or you're thinking about surprising your significant other i mean this might be a fail like this might just be the hugest surprise fail and you guys kind of just came along for the ride and 
you know, just for finding kicks and giggles. So, yeah. Until tomorrow, if you guys would like to subscribe and follow along for this journey and see the big reveal, <laughs> um, I would absolutely love if you guys join me on this adventure, on our adventure. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Until next time.